Each instrument has a different sound, has a different register range, have different limitations what they can play, what they can, what they not. We start from there. We notate the abilities of each for, of instrument. I start to composing. Then we get people together to rehearse the music. The instrument we create are completely auto tuned by the standard tuning system, but it has the unique bursty raw timbre from it, which we which actually I, I love it. I guess that's the whole thing with the project. It's all about experimentation. When I play the normal flute, it's not much different, but in terms of pitching, I'm really having to think about it here, which is a really good skill for me. And I guess that's the beauty of the piece. You never really know. What's going to come out? My name is Hang Rui Zhang, a composer studying at the Royal College of Music in London. I'm the co-creator of the project Music for Recycled Materials. In this project, we make unique instruments from recycled materials and fun objects. I draw this music specifically for this, for this instrument. I'm a maker. I mostly work with metal, although I also work with wood, paper, um, yeah, kind of whatever is around. I practice, yeah revolved, especially in school, revolved around found objects and uh, what was regarded as waste. I wanted to kind of show with this project how with a bit of curiosity and making skills you can turn everyday objects into an object that not only makes noise but can also make music. I'm trying to find a bit of magic in normally mundane uh, materials around us. The thing that I, th that I probably enjoy most about um, this project is that kind of on-the-spot problem-solving. Yeah, having an array of materials and you know what you need. You know you need the shaft and the mouthpiece and the reed and the holes and it's kind of with this um, plethora of objects, how can you get to that? Gets a lot of attention because of the color and it's clearly a broom and also the kind of mechanism for the mouthpiece is... is uh, a bit unique with this fork that's bent back. The guitar is pretty cool, but it's hard to fix it. Mm. Try to make a bunch of instruments in the week or the month, and then we'd meet up and uh, he would test them and then start writing down kind of the range of the notes and, um, yeah, I assume kind of making the movements from there. A lot of these materials are overlooked and there is this incredible bounty of materials just in the street, um, in public. Regarding the music aspect of this, this instrument, uh, they are they're unique. I think the first thing I can think about is they are re really unique and unorthodox. They are not in tune by any standard tuning system. The, the way we are making this instrument is not by like scientific logic. Basically, we found the materials and we just drill holes into it. <laughs> to play because it's really hard to tune the notes so often I'd have a tuner alongside the music so I can keep the pitches in tune because I kind of have to use my ears rather than knowing where the fingerings are. So that's why the sound come out is so unique so unusual it's it's a raw sound it's a rough sometimes you can say sketchy sound but I think that's the beauty of it.